We're on a little field trip this morning. We're at Competition Engines in Egan, Minnesota. We're going to hang out with Dave Storleen, and he's got his Iron Duke project here. It's punched out to around three liters, and we're going to see just how much horsepower he can coax out of it. Toys for life. To refresh your memory, a little over a year ago, we did a video on Dave's Turbo Equitech LNF Fiero. And in an earlier life before that, he frequently competed in Engine Masters dyno competitions. But then things started to shake up. Here's why. Dave Storlin with Porting Dynamics, who yesterday had a DNA finish. Well, he cut a deal with Custom Chems and literally shook things up quick. Some serious dyno pulls put him on the board, pushed everyone else back. I have one of those. I know what you mean, though. I finger, the finger grips. Yeah. Oh. Do you have any problem finding it? No, not at all. If you really want to understand what it's doing, because you have to look at it as a V8, take these numbers and multiply them by two, and then you'll see how good it is against the V8. So I came up with this conglomeration. Oh my. Which I had ran on an LS in the past. Courtesy of my X-ray camera, we can see the big block Chevy rocker arms that have been modified to work on the Iron Duke. What's the header from? I built it. It's all hand built. That looks like it flows a little better than the uh, yeah, stock cast it's iron it's manifold. It's an inch and five eighths to inch and three quarter to. Ooh, nice work. We'll be taking orders for these. Just yeah. let me know. Randy's old place. 500 CFM two barrel. Yeah. Dave, the Iron Duke starts out at a pretty modest 92 horsepower. What, what kind of horsepower and torque is it going to take for you to leave with a smile today? Well, I'm looking for, uh, I would say we should make probably 225 foot pounds of torque and Ooh. maybe uh, 200 horsepower, 210. So, we'll see. Little, little over double. We'll this is uh, more cam than I've ever had in one of these. So, the cam is 242. 248 and like 574 lift. And that's duration at 050. Yeah. That's that's pretty big. Yeah. That'll be interesting. I can't wait to hear it run. That's fine. Randy, I know this isn't gonna stress your dyno too much, but what what's the what's the biggest horsepower you remember ever running on this dyno? It was about 1800 and it was a uh, blow nothing all engine and I had to really man up to do that one. Did your window, is that why you got bars on your window? Did your, yeah, did it yeah. blow every? That's for the customer, this is for me here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that seems like you'd want to run and hide from 1800 horsepower. Oh yeah, it was, uh, it was a big day, that was for sure. So your 2.5 is now a three liter, it seems. Yeah, it should be 186 cubic inch. Bitch. 
sounds more you read it, the better it gets. It sounds good. It <laughs> sounded really good. That cool. I watched this needle go all over the place. It's sure not making, it's done making power though, isn't it? Yeah, flat as a pancake. Look at that. 6977. See here, this is where it jumped. It, it, I can watch this needle bounce out of the corner. Yeah, of my look at where it straightens the fuel curve out again. And now you can see it's trying to make the brake specific mm. numbers right. Yep. Yep. Well, look how flat it is, though. I mean, yeah. it, yeah, it's, it's done making horsepower. Right about here. Why is that, Dave? Well, I don't know. I mean, it, it's got plenty of cranking compression, but I, you know, I went from a roller cam to a hydraulic flat tap it because I couldn't get any roller cam cores. Yeah. Well, she's running on an air or cam or not carburetor. That should be plenty. Five oh, geez. Well, yeah. I think we should screw some timing in it. Coming down. Sorry. Weird, ain't it? <laughs> then they find their spot. Didn't make any more power or nothing. Mm -hmm. Actually lost torque. Yeah, look at it, lost torque even. Yeah. Boy, it just These so are... look at it, it straightened the brake specific out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, except for right in here where it vibrated again. There must be some harmonics in there or yeah, something that yeah. are shaking ch that thing to the moon. Yeah. But you know, it probably lost power, so I'm gonna go the other way. Uh, Maybe it's more efficient than you think. Well, it'd be nice. I mean, nothing. That'd be a good thing. This is where you find out. Oh, 172. Whew. Like that bar. Yeah, it fell off though more, I think. Oh, we got 20 on the torque Look at now. The torque oh, I back. Love that. that. Love that. Remember what you said? Love that. <laughs> you said maybe it'll be more oh. efficient with less timing. Yeah. It certainly is. Look at that, the hit, it's 200 foot pounds of torque. Yeah. 199, 203, 15, 20, 17. It's pretty smooth though. Yeah. It's got a nice smooth arc to it. Oh, it's running. Smooth. Did it get that? Did it get that? No, oh, it's still got that screwball spot in the. Yeah, the there's, right three, in there's three numbers in there all the time. I bet you it's right where the. the and look at look at Randy. It did the shit. opposite. Look at the look at the brake specific. It's getting more efficient. We well, have four fours up at high RPM now. This is fine, you know, four six four four, and then it went bonkers, and then it it, it smoothed back out again, and then of course here's where it lost horsepower, yep. and then the brake specific would go high. You know. Yeah, I just don't have enough cylinder for that many. That's not very much timing either. It didn't seem to hurt the torque too much, but it, it didn't. It didn't. Yeah. It, it was kind of surging. I thought I felt. Yeah, it, you could hear it. Felt a little, a little up and down there. Um, I think 30 is your spot. Yeah, because it hit 220 at 30. Yeah. And the torque was a lot broader than that. Yeah, the 220, uh, uh, 220 and 17. We tried a few more things that day, but the best run ended up being 220 pound-feet of torque at 3,800 RPMs and 172 horsepower at 4,600 RPMs. That's not too bad. We almost doubled the output of the Iron Duke, and we haven't even gone nitrous or forced induction yet. Dave, if you're listening, you know you can get an eBay Turbo really cheap. Guys, if you have any comments on this, 
leave them in the comments below. Racer D is the owner, and I'm sure he'd be happy to interact and uh, answer the questions you might have about this combination and his thoughts on what you might want to do to yours. If you like the video, please remember to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and as always, thanks for watching.